Hi, I'm Matthew Butler. I'm the service manager for Breen's Farm Machinery in Cashel. And uh, today I'd like to uh, show you around our new state-of-the-art premises. The business is around since the 1970s and the business expanded so much that it outgrew the old workshop. So in 2017 we got the opportunity to design and build a new state-of-the-art workshop. The design started in September um, 2017 and uh, a lot of work was put into designing the, the floor space, the size of the bays and due to the size of machines and the different sizes of machines we had to design the size of the bays, the position of them, the layout of them and to give enough access in through the middle of the workshop so we could get at any bay at any time. As well as the designs of the floor and the layout, we also, for to have mechanics working in a nice environment, we have insulated sheet and put up. We have central heating throughout the, the building and uh, a lot of access areas and, and ventilation to make it a, a safer, healthier workshop to work in. So the, the new workshop has uh, one door at the rear of the garage. Um, the old workshop had a front door where we had to come out through customers, through delivery trucks passing, um, caused a lot of um, confusion and it was not safe. Um, the other issue with the old workshop was to get machines out of the workshop, you had to forward plan when the machine was going to be finished uh, as there was no room up the centre of the workshop to drive out. So you might have to get three machines ready at the one time in order to get into the back of the workshop. Uh, one of the, the new uh, systems that we have in place here is the central oil distribution unit, um, which we have engine oil 10W40, we have hydraulic oil, we have coolant, uh, we have back end oil, all on multiple um, electronic pumps around the workshop. Um, they control, electronically control the usage of the oil and it links back to the laptops in the office for charging out the amount of oil that's used and reordering the amount of oil that we'll need going forward. We also have a lot of new workbenches made up by Grant. They help to locate the tools in, a, in an easy and way to see, keeps everything in the right place and speeds up the repair when we know exactly where each tool is and where it should be. While we supply all the specialised tools and uh, diagnostic uh, units, the mechanics themselves have built up their own spanner collections and sockets and impact guns themselves. It's, it's up to the mechanic himself what, what type of tool he wants, whether it's snap-on, drape or laser or anything like that, and they all have their own individual tastes as regards that. On the high-tech side, we have a lot of diagnostic equipment here. All mechanics, uh, even apprentices, are supplied with, with their own laptop. Um, and they are given the diagnostic equipment to work on the class tractors, the also the Takushi diggers, from, which covers all the different engines from Dites to Yanmar to John Deere to Iveco, um, and the, the kits are there for all of them. Modern machinery are gone so high tech now that the day of multimeters and analog gauges are, are a thing of the past. We now need scopes and hydrotechnics to be able to help us diagnose faults. Um, the scope, the Pika scope that we use, will allow us to graph. Uh, different sensors and um, different mapping of the engine and uh, we'll bring it, break it down into milliseconds by milliseconds. The modern tractors are now can be got with telematics which will remotely locate the machine and allow us to carry out some remote diagnostics on the machines. So in the new building we've, we've made a designated room for telematics which the, the mechanic can sit inside, he can link on to the tractor from remotely and watch what's happening and, and watch all sensors and try and diagnose any issues that might be happening. Other tools that we have include axle stands, we have um, new units for removing half axles, for specialised tools for removing gearboxes. Moving outside the workshop, uh, we've got a new shed built um, especially for our dyno, our Sigma dyno. Um, that shed also includes all top links and um, hitches from all the, the new and second-hand machines that are in the yard. Uh, we also have two track jacks which we use for moving the machines around the yard without wheels so we can wash the machines or we can um, test the machines in the yard without having to drive on the road. The back of the new workshop is fully uh, cordoned off so that no customers can come in around the, the moving machines. This is done for safety and from now the customers drop the machines in the drop-off zones and report to the main office then to collect their machine.